It was in this city on International Women's Day back in 2012 that former Foreign Minister John Baird hand-delivered a certificate for Aung San Suu Kyi's honorary Canadian citizenship. He called her a great champion of change. Well, now, six years later, there's a lot of change in the relationship between Myanmar and Canada. There has been no official reaction from Aung San Suu Kyi about yesterday's decision. And our request to a spokesman was acknowledged, but we were not given any comment. For Aung San Suu Kyi's many fans, and she is very much loved here, Parliament's decision is just the latest example of the international community being too harsh in its assessment of uh, her handling and the military's handling of the Rohingya crisis. Now, it may not be the most consequential decision for the average Burmese, but it was, at least for a while on Friday, among the top headlines here. One independently owned television network, for example, reported the news, also pointing out that the military, which shares power with Aung San Suu Kyi's civilian part of the government, has already rejected the idea that it has mishandled the crisis in any way. This country has also rejected the UN's assessment that its top generals should be tried for genocide. Now soon we'll bring you more stories from here about how Myanmar is thinking about and dealing with the fallout from the crisis one year later. Nalayed, CBC News, Yangon, Myanmar.